I think we have a a, a, a dead body here, sir. Oh, it'll treat as a crime scene. A grim discovery caught on body camera. The shocking video shows the moments Arizona deputies discover a dead body in the middle of the desert that's been set on fire. It looked like it looks like a body dump, sir. That somebody drug him and threw him off this little cliff. Hours worth of body camera video in the case were just released this week. It's confirmed it's a human body. That's that's the bottom line. It's a human body. The video dates back to December 31st of 2021 when Maricopa County Dispatch got a call for what could be a burning body. It happened just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, in a desert miles from the main road. I'm not sure uh, if it's a body or a monitor, but there's something on fire. This body camera video is from the first responding sheriff's deputy arriving to the scene. Right away, he speaks with several people who came across the body. I said I was trying, uh, yeah, right now, we trying to look a place to go shooting. And we start to just find out and hear somebody. I was like, okay, might as well just, we hear the shooting. I was like, okay, might as well just go see what's going on. Uh, if there's a place to shoot. And I got to the, where the fire at, and it's really rough for my car to go through to keep going. I was like, oh, I'm going to stop and get out the car All right. and see what's going on. And I said, I, I reported what I saw. And does it look like a body? It looks like a body. At this point, the deputy isn't sure whether it's really a body or just a mannequin. The body, it looked like a mannequin because of the fire, but I saw kind of like a skin, like right here. Okay. The, way, the way it's laying on the stomach. But, so nobody, stomach. but nobody was around it? Nobody. nobody. I tried to look if there's anybody, there was nobody around it. What would have started the fire? What, that, the, I don't, I what would have started the fire? I said, we, we saw right. the smoke. I saw I'll go down and check it out, obviously, if I have any questions. As the deputy approaches, he grabs a fire extinguisher from his squad car and puts out the fire as best as he can. Meanwhile, he speaks to a few men on the scene. Is that a mannequin? Um, you can't tell? That's the most detailed mannequin I've ever seen in my life. Doing. It's a pretty good fire going on. Um, if they got a brush truck, that would be good. Jesus. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office blurred the body before releasing this video, but we've still chosen not to show that portion of the recording as it's pretty graphic. But you can hear the conversation between the first responding deputy and the other two men nearby who came across the body when it was still burning. When I was looking at it, I couldn't really tell necessarily, but Jesus, I can't. Hair on the head, hair on the back. You check the foot, but looks like it's got some what? Kind of like fingerprint. Up next, the deputy gets a call from his sergeant. The pair discuss the possibility that it's actually a body that had been set on fire. So is there any burned body or? Yeah, there's a manic, I, I, Sarge, I can't, it's possible this might be a body. Inside a vehicle or? No, he's he's out here in the desert laying on the side of a hill. I think oh. we I think we have a, 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 a dead body here, Sarge. I don't know, it'll treat as a crime scene. See, it looks like, he, there's, looks like there's hair on his legs and he's got like, uh, fishnet stockings on and it looks so like his could looks, be a girl then i i, I don't know his, his hair is short it, i think it's a, a guy dressed as a girl and there's two guys that are here also too and at the top of the hill where he was where he landed it looks like there's blood up there so i think we might have something here who are these two guys they they, 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 they were driving by i'll get their information i got their plate and everything are I'm, they the one who called it in no the two guys out on the road that i passed them with the nissan um uh nissan ultima vehicle i got their plate and i got their oons because i wanted to get back here to this fire um that's a body those those guys will probably have to stay there until we get detectives out there yeah yeah, I'm, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm going to need fire to come out here and finish putting them out, and then, you, you know, you need to come out here or assess it, but we yeah, probably, I'm, we I'm probably, call game. yeah, call I'm game. I'm game right now, I'm not heading out there now, but, but call game. it might very well be a homicide, too, because of the way, I mean, he, yeah, well, game will, it'll, 
it's he's detective sergeant, so he makes that determination on who he calls and stuff. So. All right. Well, I hope the uh, fire extinguisher doesn't uh, mess up the evidence. <laughs> hey, Sarge. So, like I said, you treat as a crime scene. Um, you know, and, you know, don't. Right here too. Did you get my photos? Yeah. Can you tell? Does it have genitals? I can't. See, I can't. I can't see it. It's too tucked in. I can't tell. But there, there's blood up here at the top of the hill where it looked like it looks like a body dump, Sarge. That somebody drug him and threw him off this little cliff. Okay. Soon, the fire department responds to the scene. Okay, guys. Um, I walked down around the thing. I went down to the bottom of the hill. I think it's. I think it's a real person. Yeah. I, I. We gotta. We gotta put it out. I, 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 I used the yellow as obviously my fire extinguisher because they weren't sure if it was a mannequin. When I walked up, I wasn't 100%. So, I mean, it was already, the flames were already going on him. So, I, I put it out and obviously I got down to a smolder. And I, I'm 95% sure it's a body. You can see what? Yeah. Bone coming through the foot. I, I think, well, no, I, that looked to me like his toe. Yeah. Yeah. That looked like to me, I, like I said, I went down there. Uh, if there's something that you could do to take out uh, care of the smoldering, uh, but be as very cautious as possible, not to disturb too much. Yeah, like, yeah. Their like, request was to not disturb as soon as much as possible for preserving evidence. Well, what up, crime scenes is what we've got, yeah. Officials later determine it is a body and not a mannequin that has been set on fire. The body was later identified as Benjamin Anderson. It's confirmed human? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. If it's not, it's a hell of a good thing. Yeah. We got a call about, it's probably about an hour ago now. Um, it was a possible human body on fire in Table Mason, like I-17, but it's probably four or five miles off of the I-17 going, just to give you some proxy, west towards like Lake Pleasant area, but off, off Table Mesa. Um, fire department gets out here, um, deputy gets out here, the, it's confirmed it's a human body. That's, that's the bottom line, it's a human body. It's not in a vehicle, um, it looks like it may have been dragged down into like a ravine out of view, and then somebody set it on fire. And there's a couple possible not like eyewitnesses to see what exactly happened, but they happened to be in the area when this whole thing went down. So that's, I saw the pictures. I haven't been down to the actual body yet, but I saw pictures. It looked like the top half was like partially missing, either from being chopped or uh, burned. I, can, I couldn't really tell from the pictures, but the fire department confirmed it is human. That's when the area becomes a crime scene. Deputies get the story straight. Initially, a group of people noticed the body ablaze and called 911. After that, they ran into a second group who were out looking for a place to target shoot. The two groups discussed the situation and all saw the burning body before any authorities arrived. So as I'm crossing over the hill, I see the blue truck. I said, oh, there it is. And then I see some, and then I can see the smoke. Um, one kid, a younger kid, he was, up, he was in the truck. The other two, Brandon and Bryant, were here on the point looking. And I only saw Brian, uh, Brandon. And Bryant went down there to, to confirm because he looked like from up top, looked like a mannequin. So Bryant, he's a, you know, he's military. Um, he, he hiked down there to look, and he says, and then he, he says, he's coming up the hill, and I'm going to human. And then he said, well, if it's, if it's a mannequin, it's the best detailed mannequin, mannequin okay. we've ever seen. How, how'd they get back here? I don't. Why? Well, I, I get it, but how did they know something was going on? Smoke? <laughs> oh, oh, they're, they're looking to target shoot. Okay, they were coming back here to target shoot, yeah. and they came across this. Did they have any interaction they with the came, caller? They came across with the caller. Okay. The caller, you know, said, hey, I think there's a mannequin burning down there. There's a fire. So they passed because as the black car's pulling out, they were pulling in, and that's when they said, hey, I think there's a mannequin burning right, So down. the caller said something to these three boys. Correct. They were coming out here to target shoot. Correct. So they stopped right here. Because they saw the smoke. Okay. 
The first deputy on the scene explains this again from his perspective. Okay, guys, um, I walked down around the thing. I went down to the bottom of the hill. I think it's I think it's a real person. Mm -hmm. I, I, we got to put it out. I, 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 I used the yellow as obviously my fire extinguisher because they weren't sure if it was a mannequin. When I walked up, I wasn't 100%. So, I mean, it was already, the flames were already going on him. So I, I put it out, and obviously I got down to a smolder. And I, I'm 95% sure it's a you can see what? Bone coming through the foot. I, I think. Well, no. I, that looked to me like his toe. Yeah. Yeah. That looked like to me. I like I said. I went down there. Uh, if there's something that you could do to take out care of the smoldering, but be as very cautious as possible, not to disturb too much. Like, yeah, yeah. Their like, request was to not disturb the scene as much as possible for preserving evidence. Well, what up, crime scene? Is what we've got. Yeah. The same deputy gets the information from men on the scene. Well, not detained, but detained yeah, cooperation, please, because obviously, you know, I okay. got, got a little bit of a scene here, and I appreciate you pointing that out to me. Yeah. So, you guys got ID? Yes, Let me grab that from you. Later, they're asked to wait on the scene for homicide detectives to arrive. Three guys. Well, one, I guess, is a military police. He's in the military, so he, he's the brother who's understanding, knows kind of the procedures that we're doing and you know has no problem hanging out waiting just you know he's he's just there the other one the other part is total opposite of the other one he's kind of like he's like i don't want to hang out i don't want to go his dad his dad showed up that's the dad he showed up he's he's night cooperative but the one he's like you know i'm leaving so my dad shows up if you're Dad's not here. I'm, I, I gotta leave. You got my number, and, and I, that's why I called the homicide. He goes, I'm 10 minutes out. Just try to see if he'll stick around. I told my 10 times, they're not being detained. You can, you're free to leave. It just, just ask. So I just explained to him, they are free to leave. It just, um, the, the sergeant explained homicide. He's just asking if you'd stick around for 10 minutes until I get here, and that it'd be a quick interview. A sheriff's deputy also speaks with the original group who found the body and called 911. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna back up and stop, see what is, what is that fire. And I, I stopped, stopped and I looked, I'm like, what the f hmm. And when I reported, I was like, I wasn't sure about it, is it real body or yeah. a mannequin? When we first because got the first, the, the how the you see any is. cars leaving or anything? nothing? Nothing, I tried to look around, see yeah. if there's anything else, yeah. it was just, something right on side out on, on the fire. Was, red something red. And uh, the, from the head. While officials later determined the body belonged to Benjamin Anderson, no charges have been filed in his murder. Back in January, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office said they've identified suspects in the case, but have to do more investigation before any arrests can be made. Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.